Hey everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be dedicated to remote controlling uh, Camsys console from another Magic UPC. So for this you need a console or um, or say uh, um, Magic U unlocked with uh, PC Wink or any other device that can unlock it. And the second device could be any laptop uh, running Magic U in the demo mode. So again, to to get this working, you don't need to have both devices to be unlocked. Just one of them is to be a full console or an unlocked Magic U. So uh, for this, for my example, I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use a PC based Magic U uh, that is unlocked. So you can see here it's not in the it's not in the demo mode, uh, which means I can control it within the system. And on the other side, I have my Magic U running on my Mac in the demo mode. So that's not unlocked system. So that system, the 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 locked system. I will be using to remotely control my unlocked system. Just for you to understand, the, all the communications are going to be going from um, your Magic UPC here. So everything that's going to be coming out as a DMX controls and everything is going to be coming out from the main console, the one that is unlocked. Okay, so that means if you want to set everything, you have to set uh, everything on on this screen. So this is going to be the host screen, and uh, the the other version, the the demo version, is going to be only a remote controlling system. That's it. So as I said, it's useful when you have say a console in the front of house and you have you want to control it from uh, any other place. Um, within, with say, if you're on a stage, you want to uh, remote control it from the network. You can do it, and that will give you the full access to the whole console. This is how you do it. So first of all, you need to set uh, both uh, systems in on the same network. What it means is you connect them with a Cat5 cable, set up the IP addressing on both systems. I'm not going to go through these steps. You can easily find it if you don't know how to do it. You can find it. Uh, on, on YouTube, there are a lot of tutorials how to, uh, that shows how to set IP address of the of the console uh, of the uh, of the PC. But in the case if it's a console, you can always go in the console to setup. Then you go to the network and you'll find the IP address. You can type in IP address uh, like like. If you can, if you want, you can use my uh, IP addressing. So it's a two zero zero one one twenty is the one I'm using as going to be the host system, the unlock system, and subnet mask is two five five triple zero. You don't need to do anything else here. Just just that's it. So this is on the main system. Okay. So I'm also running the visualizer, so you can see the previews. So now we're going to the Mac control system. So here, that one that's running on the demo mode, again, set the IP address on the Mac, so uh, like you know how to set it in. So in my case, I'm running, um, I configured my Thunderbolt Ethernet port uh, manually and I put the IP address 200.11. It doesn't matter, so as long as the last numbers are different, the first three could be the same. Subnet mask should be identical, 255.0.0. Then you see it's green light, that means the connection is there. So then you go here on the Mac system as well to make sure that the IP address is set in the Magic U correctly. So you go to Setup, you go to the View Settings, Network, you can see everything is here set up. And important things, uh, important thing to do is on the remote system, the one that you will be controlling from, you are have to go to the view DMX input options, input output options, and disable all your universes because in the Artnet mode they will be sending the data, they will be still sending the data in the system, and that may cause the Artnet conflict. It's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna disrupt your controls, but it's just gonna bring bring the Artnet conflict uh, message on your host system. So again, select the whole. Uh, the this the the column which says status. Click here on the screen says disable. Just disable it. That's the it's the easiest thing to do. And the last thing to do to uh, enable the whole thing um, is you go to the view system and you need to make sure you press the button here called remote control. You click here and you press 
yes. So here you go. This is the name of my other device in the network and my laptop. I click on it and now I have established a full connection. So you will be able to see that I'm saying I'm remotely controlling a laptop. This is the name and this is the version it's running and everything else here is exactly on the other laptop. If you don't actually see that, I mean, you won't see that uh, the other system in the network, make sure you go on the Magic UPC version and also double check that you have the, in the multi-console, you have those two options selected as yes. So this is what you need to make sure you check it as well, just in case. It's always yes on my systems, but in case it may happen that you're not going to see this uh, uh, pop-up screen with the, with, the, with the system, make sure this these two says yes. So now, if we go back to the Magic Queue, you can now run your playbacks and you will be able to see that everything is working on your uh, host system. So, you have full control, so if you want to do some programming, some correct changes, etc., you can always select your uh, group of lights, press locate, start working on say uh, something and if you want to save it you press record and click here you save it so basically you are not running two separate system this is fully mirroring your host system that's it so this is how it's done and if you want to stop the connection there are three ways to do it the easiest way is to hold the control button and press 1 if you do it on the keyboard. So if you press Control 1, you're going to stop the connection. Or if you press, um, I think it's a Shift Control, you're also breaking the connection. Uh, or you can just quit the, the system as well. So the easiest one, as I said, hold Control and press 1. And you stop the connection with the system. Now press Layer. You go back to the original system where there's nothing controlled so this is empty show file the one that I have on the, this system again anytime I want to go to connection press setup view system view monitor remote control yes there you go it works now so hope it was easy and hope you find it useful if you have any more questions feel free to ask but otherwise subscribe to, to our channel uh, both channels Camsys and Camsys Roos and also um, uh, uh, like tick on this notification so as soon as the new video is coming out you will be notified about them thank you very much and have a good day bye